How's it going everyone? This is DJ. A lot of people received a Fire Stick for Christmas this year and the first thing they do is connect it to the TV, run the basic setup, install maybe some apps and then start watching Prime Video, Netflix or YouTube. The first thing you should do though is change some settings right away. These settings that I will show you in this video will speed up your Fire Stick and also protect your privacy at the same time. So grab your remote and let's get right to it. All right, welcome back everyone. Now there's a lot of settings that Amazon has turned on or off by default that in a way benefits Amazon and their pockets in some way. In this video, I will show you how to change those settings in just a few simple steps. So let's go over to our settings. And in here, we're gonna go down to display and sounds. We're gonna click on there. And we're gonna go down to screensaver. Now, if you have your personal photos on Amazon Photos and you use them to display on the TV when the screensaver starts, then I will leave this on. If not, I personally recommend turning the screensaver off. To do that, just click on screensaver. And in here, we're going to scroll down where it says start time, click on there, and select never. Now, the reason why I recommend turning the screensaver off is first, it takes up a lot of space. And as you already know, the Fire Stick does not have a lot of it. Every time the screensaver runs, it accumulates a lot of cache. As you will see in a little bit, it can reach anywhere from 100 to 300 megabytes of space. That's a lot of space that the Fire Stick can use for something else. For example, another app. Another reason is, even though as you can see in the background, we see a picture of some mountains in the UK. This is not what you will see when the screensaver starts. For the first five to 10 minutes, all you will see will be advertisements for some new movies, TV shows, Missé hints, and then eventually you will get to different pictures from different scenery. All right, so now we're gonna scroll down. This is optional. Now, if you don't really care about Missé and all the hints that you see on the bottom of the screen every few seconds, you can turn this off. If you do use Missé and you'd like to learn more, then you can leave this on. All right, let's press the back button here. Now, if you own the Fire TV Stick 4K Max second gen, instead of screensaver, you will see ambient experience in here, where you can also turn it off by clicking on ambient experience. And then where it says ambient experience, just click on it and it turns it right off. And here we're gonna scroll down to display. We're gonna click on there and go all the way down to dynamic range settings. Now by default, this is set as always HDR. If you own a TV that does not support HDR, I would recommend clicking on disable HDR. If your TV does support HDR, then I will recommend selecting adaptive. This way, when you're watching a movie and it supports HDR, then it will show it in HDR mode. If not, if it's set on always HDR, then you will see the dark colors as you can see now on my display here. The colors look a little washed out, the darker colors. When we click on adaptive, and we confirm it, as you can see the colors change there. It looks a little more natural. All right, let's press the back button here. Now this is gonna be optional if we go over to audio. If you don't wanna hear those navigation sounds every time you move around different menus in the screen and you hear that clicking noise, all you gotta do is click on here and turn that off. Like I said, this is a personal preference. All right, let's press the back button a couple of times. Next, we're gonna go to applications. We're gonna click on here. In here, we're gonna start with Amazon Photos. Again, if you do use Amazon Photos, you can skip this step. If not, I will recommend turning it off. So we're gonna click on here. Now, in order to disable Amazon Photos and disable and turn off guest connections, you need to start with disabling access Amazon Photos first, and then allow guest connections to turn it off. Now, if you turn off guest connections first, as you can see here, and then go disable Amazon Photos, confirm it, it's gonna kick us out. And then if we go back in, as you can see here, it turned on a guest connection by itself. 
So then you gotta just click on it again. All right, let's press the back button here. We're gonna scroll down to App Store, click on there, and go down to In-App Purchases. I would recommend turning this off just by clicking on it. And one of the reasons is this way with in-app purchases turned off, you or a guest or one of the kids don't accidentally purchase something in the app without your knowledge or without realizing you're purchasing something through an app. Next, we're gonna press the back button here. Go down to manage install applications. Now, if you disabled the screensaver, you can follow along. If you didn't, you can skip this step. So we're gonna click on here. And we're gonna scroll down to an Amazon photo. So if you turned it off, you're gonna click on here, press four stop, and then go down where it says clear cache, click on that, and then go to clear data and click on that and confirm it. That way you gained a little a little more space, not much, but it's not running anymore in the background. So press the back button here, and then scroll down to find screensaver. As you can see on the right, it says the cache size for the screensaver right now it's 105 megabytes. That's a lot of space. You can use that, like I said, for another app or something else. Same thing here. You're going to click on it. You're going to click on force stop. Clear cache. And then you're going to clear the data. That way you're going to gain a lot more space. All right, let's press the back button here a couple of times. One more time. Next, we're going to go down to preferences. All right, now in here, we're going to focus on privacy settings. We're going to click on here. Now, as you can see, all three of them are turned on. If we start with the first one, device uses data. Like you see on the right side in the description here, it uses your personal data collected by the operating system of the device for marketing and product improvement purposes. No, thank you. Turn that off and confirm it. Go down to collect app usage data. Same thing here. It's collecting information about how frequent you use or which apps you use that you downloaded from the app store. They don't need to know that. We're going to turn it off. Interest-based ads. Now this one, no matter what, you leave it on or you turn it off, you're still going to get ads. You're not going to get away from that. The question here will be, do you want to see ads that, are, that may be in the interest of you or random ads? Personally, I don't like to be tracked of what I'm watching, what I'm doing, and showing ads according to what they're tracking. So I'm just going to click on that and turn it off. This is a personal preference. So we're going to press the back button here. And here we're going to scroll down to feature content. With feature content, when you click on here, you're going to see the allow video autoplay and allow audio autoplay. They're both turned on. This is if we go back to the home screen. This is for the top third over here, where especially with the new update that you got recently, as soon as you turn on your Fire Stick, you get a full screen like this of an ad. You get the video, you get the audio. If we go back to our settings, scroll down to preferences, and feature content, if we turn these off, and then go back to the home screen and go up, you're still going to get those ads. You can't get rid of that. But now you get still images instead of a video. All right, everyone. These are all the settings that I personally recommend changing on your Fire Stick right away. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will answer everybody's question as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. It does let YouTube know you like what I do here. And it does help my channel grow. Thank you for watching. This is DJ. Till next time.